good morning YouTube it is 7 30 a.m. Wednesday and rumor has it that the gun show is coming to town and the gun show right over there but yeah guys woke up feeling good so we're about to kill some arms right now so I'm gonna take you guys through the workout talk talk to you guys about tips different types of heads on the arms but yeah guys we're gonna kill this we got the jams going while warming up but yeah guys, so whenever you hear bodybuilding, whenever you hear like someone goes into the gym, especially beginners, what do they hit? Either chest or arms. Everyone wants big chest, everyone wants big arms, which is why, you know, I'll do arms. I'll have a strict arm day, just strictly arms, once every three weeks or so. Not when I get bored, but you know, just when I want to switch things up, being a little spicy, you know, just switching things up. But yeah, we're gonna warm up real quick with the foam roller, and then we're gonna move in some bicep and tricep exercises. But even for arms, it's always important to have the body warmed up and ready. So we're gonna warm up. So starting off with warming up, when it comes to warming up bicep or tricep, you could really do any exercise. So for example, I have this right here, and I'm gonna do some bicep curls and then some tricep pushdowns. Now we can come back later and do these with heavier weight when we're actually doing working sets. But since we're just warming up, we're just doing these for 10 reps. You should have at least five or six left in the tank easily just because we are still warming up. So we're just doing this for two or three sets, get some blood flow going, get a pump going, and then move into the working sets. Once you guys feel a little blood going, a little pump going in your arm, that's when you know it's time to kill them. So we're gonna move in our first working set. So the buy in bicep standing for two heads of the bicep, right? So we get the long head and we get the short head. So starting off, every first movement I hit on arms, I wanna try and hit both heads for equal growth. So we're just starting out with some basic barbell curl, straight curl, just curling it, one coming up. After you get past a certain point, you're gonna feel the tension stop. So about this top percent, this top 10 percentage right here, after coming up, after so far, you're gonna feel the tension go away. So when one coming up, we're not going all the way up necessarily, we're just coming all the way, almost to the top. So stopping about right here instead of right here. But yeah, yeah, so we're gonna do four sets of 10 reps on these. Right off the bat, we are doing strict curls, meaning that we're not swaying at all, getting a good heavy weight that you'll be able to do good eight to 10 reps on. And also when going down, you want to flex your tricep just a little bit. That way you know that your entire bicep is extended. So when coming down, slightly flex that tricep, then bring it right back up, guys. So we just hit our first working set, and we're doing three more of those. Then we're gonna jump into the compound exercise for triceps. So moving on to the tricep exercise, this is a great exercise just to kick off triceps. We're doing tricep extensions. I'm just gonna use 20 for demonstrative purposes. So we're gonna be on one of those chair benches where you can sit down. And so anyway, after we take a seat, right, we're gonna bring the dumbbell up right here to the shoulder. So you can just grab it like this and just bring it up here. And when grabbing the dumbbell, we're gonna grip it like this and then put another thumb over it. I'm just gonna put it right here, bring it up here and then just slowly go down and explode back up with your triceps. Now, naturally, your triceps, I mean, your elbows are gonna naturally flare. Just try to keep them in like this as much as possible. But again, it's gonna happen naturally. It's about controlling it. But yeah, great exercise to kick off triceps with. We're gonna do four sets of eight reps on this. One more quick pointer guys, when going all the way down, make sure you get a good stretch in the tricep. So not stopping necessarily at 90 degrees when going down, but going just a little bit past that to fully stretch that entire long head off the tricep. This right here being the long head, this is the latter head. We're trying to stretch the long head. You'll feel it when you go all the way down. 
put two more sets on this and moving on to a super set with bicep and triceps. All right guys, so second exercise, get yourself a rope right here. Get yourself a little machine with cables. So we're on this, we're doing four sets of 10 reps. Now since we are moving on to cables, if you thought barbells and dumbbells, bleh, barbells and dumbbells gave you a pretty big pump, just wait till you do these. Cables will keep constant tension on your arms, which means constant strain, which leads to a bigger pump. So yeah guys, no more than 30 seconds rest on this. We are doing supersets, so we're here, we're getting in, we're killing it, no more than 30 seconds rest. And yeah, so we're doing bicep curls with this. When you come up on this, bring the rope almost right about to your ears, right? So bring it up, then slowly separating it and coming back down, then bringing the machine back up, then we're doing tricep push downs. Same thing on this, you can't really see it, you'll see it better when I do the actual exercise. But you're pushing down and separating the rope at the very bottom. So yeah, we're gonna jump right into it. Quick little pointers guys, this thing's always popping in my head as I'm doing the exercise. I kind of want to tell you guys before, like at the beginning. But, when going up on the bicep part, you want to twist your pinkies inwards. You're going to feel the activation in your short head. So twist the pinkies inwards when you're bringing up the rope, so kind of like this. And then also, when doing the tricep part, when you come down, you want to twist your wrists, your pinkies outwards. You're going to feel that activation on the lateral head. But yeah guys, inwards and then outwards, and then no more than 30 seconds rest. Since we are moving into the final set, I would say it's appropriate, you know, bring the sleeves up a little bit, especially once you got the vascularity working in there. So yeah guys, final set, no more than 10 reps, and we're killing it. So third exercise moving into, we're doing single arm dumbbell curl. Now same thing as the rope over there when we did the bicep curl, where you squeeze that pinky inwards to activate the short head. But strict on these guys, no swaying, no nothing. Go light if you have to, I'm using 20s. Odds are I'll drop to 15 on the last two sets. But yeah, just going single arm at a time. Then on that final set, we're doing two arms at a time. So we're doing a drop set with lighter weight on that. So yeah, just make sure you get a good squeeze. Mind muscle connection, guys. Think about that muscle as you're squeezing it. But yeah, four sets, eight to 10 reps on these. So moving into that final set that I was talking about. So we're doing single arms on these, 10 reps on these. And then I have the weight that I'm gonna drop to right next to me, right there handy so I can jump right into it. So 10 reps with the regulars that I'm doing 20s with, single arm, and then I have 10s right here. Then we're gonna do both arms at a time. So I'm gonna put the dumbbells like this and just squeeze them right here. A slight elevation on this arm right here and just squeeze them right here. Then 10 reps on those. This is gonna hurt guys, brace yourselves, but the pump that you're gonna get afterward is gonna be ridiculous. So moving into that final set. Doing the drop set now. 
Alright guys, so final tricep exercise, move it into some pull downs. Find yourself a bar like this, and when you grab it, you want to get an underhand grip. So just like this, and what this is going to do is work a lot of the medial head. We've hit a good amount of the lateral and the long head, the lateral and the long head. So now it's time to hit a bit of the medial head. So yeah, just grabbing the bar like this guys, coming back, blocking your elbows right here. So the elbows, once put into this position, are not going to move at all. So locking the elbows right here and just extending the elbows just like this, squeezing, feel that good contraction, and then coming right back up. So putting some work on the medial head, doing about four sets of 10 reps on this. By now you guys know how much I love my drop set. So this final set, doing 10 reps, or dropping the weight down for another 10 reps, getting that burn in. I don't think there's any better feeling than a good arm pump before it's even 9 a.m. But just wrapped up that last exercise, wrapped up arms in general. Now moving into one exercise of weak point training, we are doing forearms. Alright guys, so for this final exercise of the day, we're doing forearms. Now forearms being the most commonly neglected muscle, probably more than calves, and I myself am guilty of this too, but forearms will complement physique so well. If you ever see someone with nice forearms, you notice that immediately. So just, it's a good thing to always get these in. They help a lot with grip strength as well. But if this exercise is super easy, just get yourself a bench, get yourself a dumbbell. I'm using 10 pounds on this. We are doing high volume on forearms. So anyways, you get yourself a bench, you put your wrist right at the edge of the bench, let your forearm rest on it, and you're just curling it. You grab it like this, or put your thumb over it. I like it better like this, I feel a better contraction on my forearm. But yeah, just putting it right here guys, and just lifting it up just like that. We're doing 15 reps of 4 sets of this. That is a wrap for today's arm workout, guys. I hope you guys' arms are gonna be just as fried as mine are. Love a good arm pump, love a good arm day. But yeah, guys, don't forget, don't skip your forearms. Get that bicep, that tricep, all the heads in. Get all that work in. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.